Yo, what is up guys? Welcome to a new video with me, Fuzzball40. As always, if you're new around here, please click the subscribe button down below. Click the like button, all that good stuff. And this is the second episode this week of essentially the How to Trade series. I don't know what I'm going to call it, like the best way to call it anyway. Um, the whole point of this, this series now, like I said to you in the last video, was I want to start sort of teaching you guys the hows and whys we do what we do when we trade. Um, and again, like I said before, at the moment I see a lot of, of, of YouTubers that go, oh... Yeah, go and do this method. It's really effective. I did it, and you know, I'm like, well, why? Why did you do it? How did you do it? What was the What was the point in it? If that makes sense. Um, you guys have seen me do all these methods over zero to one million, but I want to go into detail on each of these methods, like I said, but on the last video, to really drill down to the reasons why you do it, the most effective times to do these things, um, and how you go about making the most coins you possibly can. Okay, it's as simplistic as that. The reason why. I think people don't trade is because people are scared to lose coins. And I'm going to put it bluntly to you. You will lose coins at times. Things will happen. The methods I'm teaching you are very hot. Right? In fact, nine impossible to lose coins on. But as you get towards a more expensive end of the market, that's when you can start to, to lose a lot of coins. Because if you don't know what you're doing, you just dive in with a poor video that you've watched that says, go and do this because I did this and it sells with this. It's not true. First thing you always need to remember, remember with the market is the market's constantly going up and down all the time. Throughout the day, it goes up and down. Throughout the week, it goes up and down. To put it simplistically, because we're moving into goals in this video, the market is usually at its cheapest throughout the week on a Sunday, Monday, when people are selling off a weekend league and squad battle rewards come out. That is usually when the market is cheapest. It's as simple as that. During the day, the market's usually at its most expensive, majority of the time, sort of first thing in the morning is when there's less supply, so the market tends to hold a higher value. As the day goes on and more cards come on the market, it tends to come down. And at six o'clock, if you see lightning rounds or people open packs and stuff like that, it usually comes down from, from where it was in the morning. Then you tend to see a steady climb back as people take the cards off the market. That's something to just remember with fluctuations, okay? Now, gold card trading is one of the most simplistic ways you can make coins on this game. I've got a method that you cannot lose coins on. You make profit on. I did it in a video, but I really want to go over it in detail as to how you really do it and why you do it, etc., etc., etc. Um... But again, gold cards and silver cards are very similar in the way that you would go about trading them. Now, first thing to, to, to note about gold cards compared to silver cards is there's constant supply of gold, okay? Silver cards get supply when people open up packs that contain silver players in them, which is usually only with SBCs um, and like marquee matchups, stuff like that. That's usually the only time you get silver supply. Gold, gold packs are open up all the time. If you go to a market, you don't think, hey, let me open up some silver packs. You usually think, let me open up some... Gold packs, let me open up a premium gold players pack or whatever it is on the market at the time. That's why there's constant supply of golds, okay? Golds still tend to hold a, a, a sort of minimum value. That's important to note. But again, they do come up and down. First method I'm going to teach you is the one I've shown you guys a million one times before. Also, from last video, remember I told you I picked up that Sabelli and he'd sell straight away. He sold straight away. The uh, the first guy I sold. In, actually, I don't know who's just sold. Someone's just sold. I hasn't told me who. Um, any of these guys? Any of these guys here? You sold. Did you sell? I don't know who just sold, but someone just sold because my quintile's just gone up. I'm not sure why. Um, but yeah, the same method I've showed you guys in terms of how to get going. But never ever think that this method is a method that you have to only use when you've got 50k coins. This method can be used anytime and it is guaranteed profit without fail. What you want to do is gold defender, any major nation. Now I'm going to tell you the most effective ones so you guys can be doing the same thing again. Spain is probably, in my opinion, the most effective. England is most effective, but quite competitive. France is very, very good. Um, and Germany, okay? Oh, and Italy, and Italy. The ones that I don't really like, Argentina, because you get a lot of the Argentinian league players and they don't really tend to hold a great value. Brazil's not bad if you pick up the guys that aren't in random leagues. Like you've got that um, centre-back, I think, from the Austrian league and you've got another centre-back that's not very expensive. But you can sometimes pick up right-backs and, le and left-backs that are expensive doing that, that method. But what you want to do is go defend of Spain, okay? And you want to see what the minimum they're selling for at the moment is. It was 700 earlier on. I think it might still be 700. It is. Um, and you want to go to the end. I mean, that one's probably gone already. But what you want to do is get your, get your thing down to here. And you just want to literally pick up everyone that comes up under 700 coins. What I'm going to do also is I'm going to set the max price there. So I can just use that to refresh the filter wherever, anytime I need to. Okay. And you want to go down to buy now so you're ready. And you want to use compare price, which is X on Xbox and B for back out. Okay. That will bring up. All the cards here. Now, you might get kicked off at some point if um, EA come along and go, actually, this guy's trading too well. I'm going to take him off the market. But you want to compare price and back out. You want to keep doing it until you get a deal, basically. Now, I'm doing this again, middle of the day. That was not a good buy. 
but make sure you don't snap too quickly onto them. But you want to keep going until you one comes up. I'm doing middle of the day. I don't know how much it's going to pop. So again, here's some more why and how for you. Best time to do this method, 6 o'clock. Always without fail, because people have not packed at 6, you tend to make more coins. Afternoon's fine, evenings are fine. Middle of the day like this, not so fine, realistically. Not so fine at all. But you want to compare price back out, compare price back out. As I've shown you guys before, million one times. So there's that one there, I'll try and pick him up. Yep, cool, and this one here if you can. Right, so we picked up both of these guys. We know we can't make a loss on them. These are all 700 coins here. So this guy here is only going to make me up 50 coins profit, but it's 50 coins profit I didn't have before. And you want to keep compare price back out. And sometimes you'll literally pick up 50, 50 coins profit a card. Other times you'll pick up a card, like I've seen Bernat pop with this. And he literally goes to like 3.5k. So you can make big, big profit. You want to keep going. I don't want to go for too long on this field. I'll just do it for a bit longer and then we'll move on to another one. We're going to get anything more. Anything more at all. Anyone want to listen to some... some Spanish players, it'd be great if you did. Compare price back out. Usually you can tell when a player's going to come up as well. Like, you can usually tell by the way that it comes back on. Now, this guy here, I wouldn't normally buy him, but I'm going to because I know at times the fluctuations, because he's part of Granada, he gets to a 1,000 coins. So I'm going to pick him up anyway. I wouldn't normally suggest you do that, but um, you can you can pick him up. Those of you who have done this method have come into my stream and like, oh my God, it's incredible. It takes patience. Any method does. But you just want to keep picking up as many as you can. As you do it. And like this, right now. So the filter's kind of been a little bit dry. So Alex Moreno will pick up because he's under a thousand, under 700 coins. The filter's been a little bit dry so far. I'll give it like another go on this for a little bit longer. Ruben Duarte will pick him up. Right, you want to sign now. And you've literally got... Right there, you've got five that you can do. So we'll leave those there for now. And you can go on to another filter, basically. You can go on to another filter. So what you do now is go, okay, that was a bit meh. So we'll go to Italy, see if anything from Italy comes up. Any Italian defenders that are gold at the moment, what are they selling for? I mean, these are all good buys if they're still there. Yeah, he's a good buy and Berard is a good buy. I saw him yesterday. Pacini's a good buy as well. So basically, you know the minimum now is 700 coins, but I'm going to pick up this guy. I know D'Ambrosio sells for... I know D'Ambrosio without fail sells for about 800 coins minimum. So I'll hold him there. And I'm going to go back on now and have a little look. And go, okay, cool. 750 is what they're selling for now because I've just taken all the 700s off. So Darmian there. Compare price him, actually. That's why he's even more expensive than that now. About 1,000. We'll leave Darmian. Well, actually, you know 750 is not a minimum. You could pick Darmian up if you wanted to. But yeah, you just go like this. Again, compare price back out and see if you can pick up any more cards. The guys I just picked up a minute ago were good buys because I know full well right now there's none really over the 750. So I know I can sell all of them for 750 easily. Um, but keep compare price and back and out. Once you get them all together, I'm not going to sit in for the whole video and do that. Once you get them all together, so who did sell? Adama, Adama finally sold. That was it. Nice. Um, you want to go foot central, claim your items, all right? And then each of them, I'm not going to do it on the video right now because it's a bit long, but each of them you want to just check what they're selling for. So there's Ruben Duarte, what do we pick him up for? 600 coins. We'll compare price on him. 900 there, 850. 750 there, so realistically about, you get a lazy buy, pick him up for 750. Realistically you will. So you can list him up, made 100, 100 coins profit on that card there. Biragi, I know normally he's about 1,000 coins give or take, but right there we've gone for 950, 800. At so the moment the market's a little bit low on him, so I'm going to go, okay, cool. Lazy list him for 800. And that's it. And you keep doing that method and you make coins. It's not difficult. However, you can then use your knowledge of that. So use your knowledge of that one there to go, okay, cool. So I know that Italian defenders are all selling for 750 at the moment, give or take. So I'm going to clear the filter off and I'm now going to go, okay, cool. Let me go gold max price 500. And I'm going to go around and I'm going to put a bid on absolutely everyone here. And I'm happy to go up on all these cards to, I don't know, 600 coins. But again, like I showed you in the last video, once you've done this and put all your bids on these guys, you then want to go to your transfer targets. And you want to go, okay, cool. So that one went, I told you that one would go from last video. You then want to go, okay, cool. What are they selling for? What are they actually selling for? So this Ogbonna, there's one for 950. It's not showing me all of him, but I know he's got to be at least 800 coins because he wasn't one on the market at 750. So you can go up to like 6, 650 on them. And this is when you just start to mass bid and make as many coins as you can by doing this method. It's exactly the same as the silvers, except you spend a bit more. But the cards tend to get sold quicker because people need them. People need these for SBCs and stuff like that. In the same way you need them with silvers, but people just do generic SBCs with these guys. So if you want to pick them up, pick up as many as you can. Like, this guy's going to up, me up to 700. At that point, I'm like, well, there's not much in there. I'm going to move him to transfer targets and leave him alone. But you do that exact same thing and you keep doing it, okay? Now, that's essentially mass bidding on non-rare golds and mass sniping of non-rare golds. It's guaranteed profit. It will make you coins. You cannot go wrong. The next thing you want to think about, realistically is looking at footbin, okay? Now, the way you can make a lot of coins, a lot of coins and golds, is if you go, like, let's say live, for example, and what have we got at the moment? Have we got, have we got, even got a, a 
Right now we have, we've got shapes as a challenge for a mega pack, right? So what you want to do is you want to go, okay, cool. The, the requirements right now for gold players, uh, the requirements for this, sorry, for the gold players are max six from the same league, min six, same nation, and you want a rare, or you wait for Champions League rare players, minimum eight. What I do is I go across the foot bin, and I go, okay, cool. Let's go to squad bin challenges, which is active challenges. And you want to just go to live, unless it shows up earlier on. Shapes which challenge your mega pack. So mega packs, nice to have. People want to do that SBC as a mega pack. And 9.8k. You just want to see if there's any guys on these filters that are expensive. So anyone that anyone's saying. So for example, if I go to this first one, it's the most expensive one. People, look at the like, like first 10. Yo, Vinny, thank you for the subscription, bro. Welcome to the channel. You've got access to all the trading guides, all of that stuff now. Thank you very much. But I want to look at this and go, okay, cool. Who is on this here? I'm going to go, okay, there's Sanchez there. There's Baca. Uh, there is, I don't know, who else could be relatively expensive here? I'll, I'll look at Sanchez and Baca for now. We'll look at Sanchez and Baca for now. Now what I'm going to do is I'm go back to scene on my OBS. And I'm going to go and look and just see what he's selling for currently on the market because people are lazy. They use Footman Solutions and they think, all right, well, if I just go and pick up all these guys, I get, I get an election pack for, uh, not an election pack, a mega pack for 10k. Lie, Yo, are fake you Paul King YouTube TTV. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate you. Um, and you go down Sanchez. And just check what Sanchez is selling for. Now with the market, Sanchez should be selling for anywhere near this amount. Right now, the market is down. Right now, there are Sanchez is on the market for 1,200 coins, all right? 1,000 coins there. And again, now I know Sanchez is selling for that. I, I, you can compare price back out. Now, am I going to get one in this video? Because I don't want to drag too long. Probably not. But you can just go, okay, cool. Sanchez is someone that I've seen now. He's up at 1,100. I'm not going to pick that one up because there's nothing on, in profit on that. But you see, one's come up straight away. And people that don't know the value of these cards will list them up, okay? So you're okay, cool. Anything comes up, it doesn't. Then you go, okay, now let me look at bidding on him. Let me look at the bids that are on him. Is there any cards that have got bids at the moment? There are. So I'm going to go 700 on him there. I'm going to put a bid on every single one of these cards here. And see if we can pick it up. That shape shifts as challenge has got two days left on it, all right? So it's got two more days on it. So I can go, okay, cool. I can pick up these Sanchez's right now. And I can list them straight away for 1,100. That's what they're on the market for. That's what they're going to sell to, to a lazy buyer who is, just looks at that footman solution and gone, okay, cool. That's what I'm going to buy. Again, go backer. And I go, okay, cool. What's he selling for at the moment? So he's up at 650. 650 at the moment for backer is what you're looking at for him. So I go, okay, cool. I'm not going to sit there and compare price and show you that again. But again, I can go, are they only in the market for 400 right now, backer? There are. So I can literally put a bid on him. Put it on him. Put it on him. And he's part of a footprint solution. People will you will buy him. And you buy him up and you just leave him in transfer pile. It's the easiest way to trade with golds. It's a way to make profit. And again, what you do is you put these golds along with the silvers, along with everything you're doing, and you're continually going, okay, cool. So I make coins for my silvers. I've gone and made 100k from them. I'm now going to go and make bang. I'm going to go and buy all these centers up and make 50k from them an hour. And you start to build up a 200, 300k an hour trading system that you've got going on. Like these guys here have all got, I didn't keep an eye on them, but either way, we'll move them from, from chance of targets. But you start to build up a little bit in your head of going, okay, cool. And you can go back then and look at Footbin again and go, let me look at even more. Let me look at the next team down. Who's in that? The next team down. And just get them. And if you get, let's say you bid on 100 and you get 30 of them, and those 30 each make you, I don't know, 300 coins, you're looking at 9,000 coins. 9,000 coins for what is probably about 15 minutes work. It is that easy. While you're doing that, you're also buying up your silvers. You're also buying up anything else that you could be doing. It's an easy way to make coins with golds. It always is without fail. Final thing to think about with golds. And again, this is the how and the why. Why is because people are lazy. People are incredibly lazy. Let's look at, for example, Gary Mackay Stevens. Okay. Now he is, at the moment, he's an 84 rated team with 70 chem. Okay. That's what Gary Mackay Stevens is. Now, I don't know if it's the best example, but I'll just give you an example of it anyway. Let me just quickly get this up. Let's go Gary Mackay Steven. And we're going to look at his solutions again. Okay. We're going to look at competing challenges. So it's only 34k, which isn't too bad for that card to be fair. I'm going to look and we've got a lot of people for obvious reasons using Onana. Okay. Onana is one of the cheapest 85s in this game. Without fail. But we're going look at this and go, okay, cool. Everyone's gone use Onana because he bumps the rating up. But I'm going to look at these guys and go, well, hang on. For example, Callihan isn't, isn't a cheap 84. They, they're, they're cheaper 84s than Callihan. 
but people have to use Callahan. So people will be using that Callahan in the in the solution for Gary McLeod Stevens. Now I've got cheapest players by rating on Footbin. You can search that. Always remember you can search that. If I then go down to 84s, now Callahan isn't even on that list of 84s, right? He's not even on that list. But people will lazily pick up that Callahan, even though you can get a right mid in PZ for 3k. And there's probably a way to link him relatively well, because you can link him into Moutinho. You can link him into, um, what's his name? Danilo Pereira. But people will go and buy that Callahan. And now if I click for full, full player's price list here, Callahan's 6,000 coins at the moment, okay? 6,000 coins. Again, the whole point, people are lazy. So they'll see that and not realize, hang on, I can do all that, that side there. But instead of doing that, I can buy PZ, who's the exact same rating. People don't do that. So again, you can then go to Callahan and do the exact same thing and say, right, let me buy into this bit of fodder. Because right now, he's meant to be listed at about 6,000 coins, even higher than that. He's 6,400, right? So again, you can compare price back out on Callahan, try and pick him up. The most effective way, in my opinion here, is going to be bid on him. Go up to like 4,000 coins. You know he's selling for 6,002. There's all these guys here. Maybe go a little bit higher. Let's go to 5,000 coins. Let's see what we got on the market at 5,000 coins. So these are all the ones here. And again, you can throw a bid on all these guys. It's safe in the knowledge that no matter what happens, the, he is going right now for 6,000 coins. So you know full well that's what he's going for. Okay? And then when it comes to sort of 40 minutes time, you've been doing all everything you're doing right now and you go, actually, now let me go and bid those Callahans. So once I've made 20,000 coins on these goals, I'm now going to go and pick up Callahans. I think that Sanchez is probably gone. So someone put that Sanchez up for 900 coins. Only a couple hundred coins profit in it. Not masses, but it's still something. That backer, someone, someone lazy bought that backer for 700 coins. When we just saw ones on the market for 600, 650. Again, with goals, it's all about people's laziness. It's utter, utter laziness. But that's how you make coins on it. You just keep bidding. And look, my whole transfer pile now is full of stuff that I'm doing for this hour to make coins. I've got a backer here. So I'm going to just throw a bid on now because that guy probably thinks he's won it. Sanchez here, Sanchez here. This Zhang Zhu guy, for example. I know for a while at the moment he's selling for like 3,000 coins. With his silver. There you go. Um, these backers here that I'm just going to hold on to for now. Someone's picked up the backer. They bid, I bid me. I don't think they have. Sanchez maybe. This is Sanchez here. We'll go a little bit higher. See what we do. But again, you can keep doing this all these cards and just look at it. For example, if I get lots of uh, challenges for the Sanchez, I'll go, okay, cool. Let me look at a different solution. Okay, well, on that one there for... For the, um, what's his name? For Gary Mackay Stevens, I'm seeing Lucas Lever selling for 4,000 coins. I'll go for him instead. Or for the, for, the, for the Mega Pack, what else can I do? And it's just a case of building up coins, and for the whole hour now, I've got stuff built. So that backer there we picked up, I've just seen someone lazy buy him for 700 coins, so I know for well. I go, okay, cool. Someone picked him up for that, so I'm going to clear the expired stuff off. I don't need that there. And in a minute, I'm going to list him up for 700 coins, because I know he sells for that. And that's, again, gold cards is all about laziness. If you can make coins of people using Footbin lazily, because you can put that solution together yourself. People don't. They go Footbin. They go, right, that's the solution I'm going to use. And I'm going to buy anyone I need. And people will lazy buy. Those Sanchez is going for 1100 You could probably try and get 12, 1300 for them. Maybe even 1400 From people just going, right, they're in, the, they're in the squad screen already. Let me search Sanchez. 1400 fine. That'll do. I'll just buy him. People do that. I promise you it's that easy. But lads, that's how to start trading with gold cards. It's really easy. Every single SBC you get on this game is a chance to make profit. Never, ever forget that. Uh, but that's going to be the end of the video. As always, if you're new around here, subscribe down below. Click the like button. All that good stuff. But for now, lads, I'm out. Peace out. I will speak to you soon.